So hello friends, today we're going to remove uh, haze out of this uh, Nikkor uh, 55 200 millimeters. It's a um, well, it's a DX lens, not um, the greatest lens out there, but it does its job. And then uh, the problem it has is um, the one of haze. And then uh, when I saw the haze uh, this lens has, just let me show it to you uh, okay ah, it's just there okay you see that stain there that's the biggest one and then there is one uh, some in the in the rim of, of the lens and then a bit in the center but then it's more difficult to see yeah those points there and there are haze and maybe fungus uh, and then uh, these are typical from um, I have to say it uh, cheap constructed lenses because I had uh, the same problem and then if you watch my videos then you probably recognize it too uh, as the uh, same um, yeah, the Betacon lens I repaired a few months ago, which had which had exactly the same problem of haze, and then this is due to a um, pair of lenses or a group optical group, which is glue, and then uh, what it happens is that uh, after some time the glue outgazes, outgazes, uh, and then uh, all these uh, particles of glue. Uh, instant themselves over the lens and then you get uh, the haze and then eventually food uh, for fungus too so um, the repair is quite straightforward so uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to open the lens we're going to remove the front element which seems to be the only problematic one and then here I use these rubber cones well small cups uh, that I got recently i still have my rubber cones but then these ones are also very practical too so here i remove the optical assembly here the front element the rest of the lens seem to be okay so i'm not going to do anything there this is what you have and then here we have the problematic element uh, I open already the lens just to see what would happen and then uh, I'm going to show you uh, what is going on now and what I'm going to do uh, because here um, you actually have uh, some uh, some kind of adhesive here uh, looks like tar and then uh, yeah it's in the rim of the lens I removed already uh, and then uh, I'm just going to show you now how to remove it okay so um, this is the lens um, I am under the microscope and then as you can see here there is this sort of resin that I am cutting and then uh, yeah, the idea is to be able to remove the lens for cleaning because there is some kind of haze and fungus which is in between and then I am not really willing to let this lens die so this is how you should proceed it's not the easiest thing it's quite can quite consuming and then uh, you will notice I am having my finger here to push the the, the cutter uh, I am putting it away from myself and then uh, on the other hand uh, I'm wearing a glove so yeah so this is what I wanted to show you uh, about the how to proceed with uh, removing this resin and then uh, we meet again 
just for the for the rest of the reaper. So hello back friends. So the you just saw uh, how I did remove the glue, and then now uh, we're able to uh, remove uh, this lens. And then what I'm going to do to remove it is just to use a suction element here and just assembling it. So I have this small cup here, and then uh, just by vacuuming it, I should be able to put the lens so you saw that um, if you don't have a tool like this it's a suction cup by vacuum uh, and the standard ones which I have here on a bag uh, they are they also work there's just a cup and then otherwise you don't have uh, either of these two uh, what you can do uh, is to use some double side tape I have used it already for many lenses and uh, you pull it in make sure it sticks and then you pull really fast so you're able to, to catch the um, the lens okay so uh, now we're going to inspect these elements here so this one here looks actually very clean so I think all the haze is located here in this element here so what I'm going to do is just to put this element somewhere that it doesn't get dirty and then we're going to work on this element here so I have um, optical cleaning paper as usual I cut several sheets and then I'm almost over with them I will need to cut some additional ones then I have uh, my cleaning fluid so first I start with isopropyl alcohol which I just put in this bottle and to get a pre-cleaning and then a uh, second thing I use this uh, fluid which is AMA HDMC uh, which works quite fine uh, I'm not being paid for by them or something and this is the one I usually use and it works quite okay uh, but then you can find uh, another brand if you want uh, okay and then uh, my lens pen which is just to push the paper around so um, then I guess that if we do this we will be able to remove uh, the haze and other things have to be quick before it dries I have to say guys things are looking really good because I am not able to see the the haze anymore which is a big success so yeah there was some deposit of glue so uh, yeah this is pretty much it <laughs> once you have this assemble uh, thing uh, you just need to okay I will finish the clean uh, properly just after um, but for me uh, it looks okay now so then what you do is you come you put back the lens here you have to push it uh, come on yeah, I did it before that was quite fine okay yeah 
you put it in position then uh, I think it's going to hold just by the tight tolerance between uh, the plastic and the lens and if it doesn't uh, you can add a, a drop of glue which is well not the best thing to do in my opinion but then you have to hold it uh, somehow so I think that's the least evil I will use probably a drop of two or two of glue just in some strategic points and then I will reassemble the lens uh, the glue I use and I will probably use is the glue uh, that they use uh, in schools well, at least my daughter uses it uh, it is quite good it is very safe and then uh, if it gases uh, I think is the simplest thing to remove and then to fix um, but then uh, yeah this is pretty much it for me the lens look okay well I have to clean it well but then uh, what we wanted the most was to get rid of this uh, deposit of glue I can see still some traces uh, but yeah this is it so thanks for watching and see you next time guys